Hello everyone and welcome to the fourth part of this series on automation for modeling with STAT. I am Shurajit Ghosh and in this session, I will focus on data extraction from STAT, how we can extract any information like geometry, section or specification data, or detailed load information from a STAT model, which can be further utilized in any third party application, even for drawing generation purpose. In previous session of this automation series, we covered the basics of structural automation and OpenStat API. In the current industry, automation for structural analysis and design is very common, which not only minimize manual effort for modeling or result interpretation, but also increase overall efficiency of the results. If we consider any repetitive process like design of similar type of structure with different geometry data, or application of vehicular load at fixed interval. Lot of effort is required to perform same task multiple times. Using an automated tool, we can eliminate this repetitive manual process and generate required model easily with few inputs. There are several other benefits of an automated approach over a traditional approach for modeling and design. There are so many examples which we can achieve through automation. And for each of these automated approach involving STAT, we need OpenStat function. OpenStat is nothing but a backdoor to STAT engine, a library of functions using which we can communicate with STAT, perform tasks without any manual input, or link any third party application. Using different OpenStat function, we can automate almost 80% process available in STAT UI. It has different modules. We can create or modify any geometry, assign property, specification, load or design parameter, analyze the structure, extract any model data and design result. To develop a tool using these functions, we can use any programming language, VBA, Python, C++ or C Sharp, any platform like Excel or inbuilt VBA script editor of STAT, Visual Studio. Python, AutoCAD or MicroStation. Usage of OpenStat is not limited to a single language or platform. We can use any language and interface as per our choice. In last part, we discussed about load generation using OpenStat, which is useful for complex structure. There are few missing features in STAT which are required for load application like generation of wind load on an inclined roof application of moving load in horizontal direction or generation of hydrodynamic load on a tank. Manual application of these loads are time consuming. Using a custom tool, we can simplify this process. For example, to automate moving load generation, we can select the members on which we want to apply the load, select the load direction, intensity and position of wheel. With this input, we can generate multiple moving load case with load applied at different location of the member with vertical as well as horizontal load component. That's all we covered in the last part. For more details, I'll recommend you to check the videos in our YouTube channel. Today, we'll focus on extraction of data from any STAD model and utilize that for model comparison and report generation. We can extract different data from STAT with OpenStat function. It can be pre-analysis data like node coordinate or member information, section or specification which is useful for drafting or section drawing generation. Also we can extract post-analysis data like member force, displacement or support reaction, even plate stress which are useful for design or validation checks. Let's start with pre-analysis data. We can extract any model information from STAT using OpenStat function. This is the OpenStat help manual where all available functions are reported. Under each module, few functions are available which help us to extract model information like node coordinate, member length or assigned section property. Also we can extract member specification like beta angle or int release along with information of support and load. 
This data is useful for preliminary estimation, regenerate the model in other interface, or to generate custom drawing. STAT can interact with other software via iTwin technology or using a DXF file. Apart from that, we can also regenerate entire structural model in other application by importing required information and automation can help in this regard. There are few applications which doesn't have a direct link with STAT like SOLIDWORKS. Using automated tool, we can easily extract model data from STAT in correct format and import those data in other application. Consider this model. It is a steel building with pitch roof, bracing, with different type of section, member orientation, offset. If we want to recreate this model in other application or produce drawing in AutoCAD, we need structure dimension along with section data, offset and orientation. Exported DXF file from STAT doesn't contain all this data. It is only a stick line diagram with section name. To extract required model data from STAT, I have developed a tool in Excel using VBA and several OpenStat function. This code interacts with selected STAT model and extract all this data in Excel file. We can browse and select any STAT model or use the first instance of the opened STAT file. Filter and select only those data which are required. Then click this button to extract all data from this STAT file. As you can notice, node and beam information, length, property, offset and release, all are now exported to this spreadsheet. We can reuse it for drawing generation or feed this data in other application where direct integration with STAT is not available. We can further enhance this tool and extract more information from STAT like section data or maintain a specific format which is readable in other application. Even we can develop this tool in MicroStation or AutoCAD. Both applications have an inbuilt VBA script editor which can be used to develop this code. With this, we can link AutoCAD with STAT, extract any information from STAT model and generate drawing based on that data. I think this is the easiest way to automate drawing generation, plan elevation or sectional drawings from any STAT model. We can also update the drawings if STAT model is modified. Two-way data interchange is possible. Model data can also be used for primary estimation. Consider this chimney model created with curved finite element mesh. How we can model this type of complex geometry in STAT with automated tools that I have already discussed in the first part. Say we want to get a preliminary estimation of the volume of concrete required for this structure. For that, we need surface area as well as thickness of the wall. If wall thickness varies along the height, then it is hard to calculate the concrete volume manually. Using a custom tool developed with few OpenStat function, we can easily extract plate area and thickness of each plate element. Using that, calculate the volume of entire structure and estimate the preliminary cost for tendering or procurement purpose. Similarly, we can extract total concrete volume required for any frame structure by exporting each member length and section data. It is just a preliminary estimation. Accurate BOQ is generated after design. We can utilize this extracted data for different purpose. For example, using a custom tool, we can extract load data from any STAT model, get detailed information of all primary load case and load types present in a model. Along with that, we can extract information of combination case, load and combination factor used in each case. This can help to identify any primary load which is not utilized during load combination. Also, we can use this extracted load data to generate load combination in another model. If we work on similar type of project like steel building designed with IS-800, then the combination factor remains constant and we can easily import combination case 
from an old project file to a new one using this type of automated tool? There are so many other examples of how we can reutilize extracted model data. If you want to know about any specific data interchange process, let me know. Next, we will talk about one important requirement of any structural analysis and design process. Extraction and interpretation of analysis and design result. Stay tuned.